Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? All right. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. We didn't grow up uh, with the sense that where we were was where we were going to be. You know, we grew up with the sense that where we were almost didn't matter because we were it, becoming, it, we were becoming right. something greater. Make a choice. Like, you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. The difference between depression and joy, right? And I think it's purpose, right? It's like when you wake up in the morning and your life means something to somebody other than you, that you have a purpose. If you don't go do the things that you're going to do, people's lives will suffer. And I think that that kind of purpose, that like to live in service, not to you, but to live in service to humanity, to live in service to your family, to live in service to your church, to your city, to your country, to the world, living in service is that, uh, I feel like that is the purest form of joy. Greatness is not this um, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very simple. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it. Yeah. Easy Period. Enough. The road to success is through commitment and through the strength to drive through that commitment when it gets hard and it is going to get hard and you're going to want to quit sometimes but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be i definitely found that uh wanting to be an actor stems from wanting to be somebody and wanting to say something to people the only thing that that I can see, and you can never really look at yourself. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill, right? I will run. You would not be outworked. I will not be, be yeah. outworked, right. period. The separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. There's no easy way around it. No matter how talented you are, your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't study, if you don't work uh, really hard and dedicate yourself to being better every single day, mm -hmm. you'll never be able to communicate with, with people. I'm motivated by fear. Fear. You know? Um, fear of what? Fear of fear. I hate fear being scared to do something scared. you a better man than me you happy now you're gonna tell will or not i'm not gonna do your dirty work for you fine uh, i'll call him from the road yeah then why don't you do that yeah i'll do that daddy out what's up will <laughs> i'm glad you're here um some business came up I gotta handle. So we're gonna have to put our, our trip on hold. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. That's cool. Just, just for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little longer. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Look, I'll, I'll call you next week and we'll iron out the details. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, yeah. It was great seeing you, son. You too. Lou?
Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Will. You know what? Actually, this works out better for me. You know, the Slimmies of Summer come to class wearing next to nothing. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, it's all right to be angry. Hey, well, why should I be mad? I'm saying, at least he said goodbye this time. I just wish I hadn't wasted my money buying this stupid present. I I'm sorry. I, you know, if there was something that I Hey, could you know do. what? You ain't got to do no, nothing, Uncle Phil. Hey, you know, ain't like I'm still five years old, you know? Ain't like I'm going to be sitting up every night asking my mom, when's daddy coming home, you know? Who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it, too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Did. Got through my first day without him, right? Mm -hmm. I learned how to drive. I learned how to shave. I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. Die with him! I ain't need him then, and I don't need him now. Will. Will. Now, you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm going to get through college without him. I'm going to get a great job without him. I'm going to marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm having me a whole bunch of kids. I'm going to be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. How come he don't want me, man?